everyone. In this video, I'm going to make a review of this epoxy 120 watts uh, solar panel. I'll show you what it comes uh, with, how to fold and fold, and obviously how to use. We're going to charge a power station, uh, so let's get into the video. This is the size of the panels when they are folded. Uh, here on top there is a handle, very easy uh, to hold and also in terms of weight is around 2 kilos which is super uh, good. And in order to unfold them there are some clips over here on the sides. We basically just have to open and uh, then just unfold. But just pay attention because here at the back there is a, uh, the, basically there are the legs. So in this uh, case we will have to uh, do like this. And basically, that's it. Done. You can get different uh, angles. Uh, you can go like this. It will ne unless unless you use the hooks to attach it to something. Uh, you cannot, uh, or you can use something that uh, needs to hold the panels in this position. Otherwise, uh, this is the angle that you get. Uh, and also, what I found a bit strange is that they uh, are a bit wobbly, they don't stay uh, basically straight, but this doesn't affect obviously the performance. And uh, this is the minimum uh, um, uh, rot rotation angle that you can uh, get with this one because they have these uh, legs over here, which uh, uh, at the very bottom it has this Velcro to hold it properly. Now here at the front there is the pocket uh, and it has uh, the zip is protected against the uh, water. And inside we have uh, all the adjustment, all the uh, cables, adjustments, and uh, uh, obviously we have the user manual. And uh, here is the uh, solar controller, it has the power cable, USB Type-C and regular USB. Mind you, this one is not waterproof, so uh, make sure when you use it, you have to do like this. Even though it's charging, just keep, uh, keep the zip on one side and just uh, put the cable like this. And uh, you can, in this case, you can protect uh, the controller uh, from the water. Now to use this solar panel is super easy, just insert the cable into the uh, controller and now uh, uh, connect it to the adjustment and uh, basically the next step uh, to charge the power station is to insert it into the station and as you can see here uh, the power station is already charging but uh, there is a catch over here that is very important to mention as you can see here the input power is set to zero and it takes a bit of time to load now it's uh, changed to 21 watts uh, but it takes uh, a bit of time uh, uh, to go to full power for example this uh, solar panel uh, supports 120 watts charge and uh, this is more or less an overview of the solar panel uh, uh, in work and as well you can charge your phone uh, simply by inserting uh, the cable and uh, as you can see over here uh, the solar panel has uh, uh, holes uh, and you can attach uh, the hooks uh, uh, on the sides or in the middle based on your preference and based on what uh, um, where you want to position the solar panel and as you can see this is very convenient uh, uh, to use as well, the solar panel is uh, waterproof, but mind that uh, the controller is not uh, waterproof, so you might have to cover that uh, to keep it safe. After testing this product for around two weeks, I came to the conclusion that it does exactly what it has to. It delivers a 120 watts uh, solar charge. Uh, it's waterproof, uh, it's super easy to fold and unfold, very compact also to store. It comes with a lot of uh, cables, adjustments, uh, so you can use it in different scenarios. So in this case, I recommend you to buy it or to drop it. Well, definitely to buy it. So guys, if you have any questions related to this product, uh, you can leave them in the comment section below and I will answer. There's also a link in the description where you can check out more information about the product. Uh, thank you for watching and see you next time.